entered our territory. The Sunning Rocks belong to Thunder Clan. <laughs> You may swim like otters, but you and your warriors do not belong in this forest! <coughs> Quick, mouse fur! Run! I got all. This is useless. There are too many River Clan warriors. No, Red Tail! Thunder Clan will never be beaten! This is our territory! Thunder Clan will honor your courage, Tiger Claw. But we cannot afford to lose any more warriors to fight against these impossible odds. We will have another chance to revenge this defeat. <laughs> Retreat, Thunder Clan! Retreat! How's Mouse Fur? Her wounds are deep, Blue Star, but she is young and strong. She will heal quickly. And the others? They will all recover too. <sighs> we are lucky not to have lost any of our warriors this time. You are a gifted medicine cat, Spotted Leaf. I am deeply troubled by tonight's defeat. Thunderclan has not been beaten in its own territory since I became leader. These are difficult times for our clan. The season of New Leaf is late and there have been fewer kits. ThunderClan needs more warriors if it is to survive. But the year is only just beginning. There will be more kits when Greenleaf comes. Perhaps. But training our young to become warriors takes time. If ThunderClan is to defend its territory, it must have new warriors as soon as possible. Are you asking StarClan for answers? It is at times like this we need the words of ancient warriors to help us. Has Star Clan spoken to you? Not for some moons, Blue Star. <laughs> it was a message from Star Clan. Fire alone can save our clan. Fire. But fire is feared by all the clans. How can it save us? I do not know. But this is the message Star Clan has chosen to share with me. You have never been wrong before, Spotted Leaf. If Star Clan has spoken, then it must be so. Fire will save our clan. Kanashi. Kiri See you. 
なく続いてく逆やもうそで」Hey, where are you off to, Rusty? Hello, Smudge. You're not going into the woods, are you? Just for a look. <laughs> you wouldn't get me in there. It's dangerous. Henry said he went into the woods once. That fat old tabby never went into the woods. He's hardly been beyond his own garden since his trip to the vet. All he wants to do is eat and sleep. No, really. He caught a robin in there. Well, if he did, then it was before the vet. Now he complains about birds because they disturb his dozing. Ugh. Well, anyways, Henry told me there are all sorts of dangerous animals out there. Huge wild cats who eat live rabbits for breakfast and sharpen their claws on old bones. I'm only going for a look around. I won't stay long. <laughs> well, don't say I didn't warn you. Meow, meow, meow. 